projectile motion is defined as the situation where the vertical acceleration is equal to the acceleration of gravity and the horizontal acceleration is equal to zero. And I'll leave that up here in the shortened form a y equals g, the acceleration of gravity, and a x equals zero. Clear some space there. So Let's take a classic situation of a soccer player kicking a ball. Well, he doesn't need them, but let's give him arms anyway. And this ball will undergo a path of a parabola. And the reason for that is that if you look at the equations of motion in the y direction, the change in vertical distance equals one half g t squared. So since this is the path of the ball as time moves on, we can see that this would be your x-axis, this is your y-axis, and it's the equation of a parabola. Let's define some things. At its highest point, we call that h. And a good trick in finding the highest point is that you know the speed in the y-direction is equal to zero at the highest point. Well, how far the ball goes that's called the range, give that a capital R, and that's the distance from here, whoop, well, to where it lands. And that is also equal to the change in x, which equals the speed in the x direction times the total time of flight. Since there is no acceleration in the x direction, for horizontal distance, it's simply distance equals rate times time. Now, I should be careful because in this situation, we actually have a velocity vector that has both an x and a y component. So we should fix this equation up to show the full equation for the change in y which is the y velocity times time plus one half g t squared, where g is the acceleration of gravity. And for our coordinate system here, it would be negative 10 meters per second squared. That's the basics of projectile motion. I'll go through some specific examples in further vodcasts.